Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Taryn. Welcome. I hope everybody's doing well <clears throat> and that you've had a good week. It's been um, a week around here. This, this, very much that. Let's see, we got Abigail um, off to Canada on Monday. And I guess that all went pretty well. Um, she was terrified about having to change planes in Toronto because it's a pretty big airport. But um, I think she f flew into and out of the same terminal. And I don't think the gates were very par far apart. So that helped. I made her look up the terminal layout and um, online, you know, to feel like maybe she knew a little bit about where she might be going and all of that. So, anyway, that sh seemed to go okay, and she's there and seems to be happy, so that's all good. Um, we found out this week that um, another client passed away. That's eight this year, and... That's really, it's heart-wrenching. Um, we're pretty close with our clients. They're not just clients. Um, we kind of, we actually get rid of clients that um, if we don't get along with them, personalities clash, all that kind of stuff. We have a very strong relationship, and this has just been the most horrible year for this. Um, I don't know if I even said before, one of them here very recently was only 46 and took his own life. Um, and his parents are also clients. And seeing them have to deal with this is just heartbreaking too. So, that's rough. It's rough every, every time it happens. Uh, I came out yesterday and started trying to record my video, um, and Addison texted me that there was an emergency and I needed to come into their bathroom right away. Um, the emergency was that the toilet was overflowing and just running. Um, the bathroom floor was full of water. Um, it ran out of the bathroom into Kirsten's bedroom, uh, across her bedroom, under the wall, into the entryway by the front door. Um, so yesterday I spent some time getting the toilet fixed and I had to pull up the uh, wood laminate floors in Kirsten's bath bedroom. So that's all pulled apart drying. Hopefully, hopefully I've got everything to dry. Maybe we'll get to put the floors back in today. We'll see. Um, my washing machine has finally just given up the ghost. So I need to pull it apart a little bit to make sure I have the right model number. I've got a new pump ready to order. See if we can't get that back in working order. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm done, man. This year, just like, all of it, just stop. But, this too shall pass, right? I don't know what lesson I'm trying to be, I'm supposed to be learning. Um, but boy, I wish I'd go ahead and get it done and learned and ready to move on. But, Let's talk about how cross stitching because that's happier, right? So we went um, to the Fourth of July parade. I hope everybody in the U.S. had a happy Fourth. Um, it's a big deal in our little town. This parade, you have to get there early if you want to get a seat. And I mean, like some people put their seats out the night before. They put their little lawn chairs out to mark their spot. Um, so yeah, it's a big deal. The parade starts at 10, they close the roads off at 9, so if you're going to park 
anywhere near the parade route, which is, I guess the whole thing's probably a mile, maybe, maybe not quite that far, but they set up in a big parking lot, um, so you can't use it to park, so there really isn't anything close to park unless you get there super early before they close the roads. Which we did. Um, so we had to sit there for like an hour or so. And I took this with me to work on. Obviously I'm still not done with February. But last week. Oh, sorry. Last week I was like just at the halfway mark on February's down here. and um, Which is right here. So I got this much done down here. And I got quite a bit of March done too. I got tired of working on... Ugh, I got tired of working on just this. So I moved down here and did a little bit of this. With a little bit of work, I could be halfway done with March too. But I honestly, I don't think that I've worked on it since the parade. So I guess there is that, right? Um, oh, and look, look at all the beads I got from the parade. Look at that. I made out. And I didn't have to lift my shirt one time. Not once. When, hmm, Wyatt went with us, wouldn't he be horrified? <laughs> um, I worked on my Norman Rockwell, and, you know, same as every week, so and steady. A little bit done. Um, nothing fantastic or miraculous. I think I put in the seat under him and I worked some more on this over here. There were like little spaces that I filled in because I think last time I don't think this was filled in or anything. So some progress is better than no progress, so I'll take it. I did not work on my Texas panorama at all. Um, I got sidetracked. And I was working on this. This was calling to me. Um, it just was. Last time I had part of Mickey, a little bit of, who is this? Is this Simba? I don't, I don't remember. It's been too long and a little bit of Chicken Little. And I pulled it out and I finished Lion King and Chicken Little. And I'm almost done with the dog from Lady and the Tramp. There's a blue that goes in her collar that for whatever reason I missed it when I was writing down threads that I needed. But these are so stinking cute. and. Each little one feels like a finish instead of the overall. Now, you may notice here I have three stitches worth between the very bottom and this. I moved this up two stitches um, and I moved this one. I adjusted it a little bit to make sure that I could get everything in. There's like these little you know, like little stars or whatever, that I had to delete some of them in here so that I could fit this in. And I've recounted to make sure I had it centered. I'm going to have the same issue again at the top. So, I'm going to have to decide how to finish this off when I get it done. So, let's we'll see. But right now, I'm not going to worry about it. And I have absolutely loved working on it. So, I've kind of decided that I'm just going to work on what I, what calls to me. You know, I mean, I'm going to keep the Norman Rockwell and the linen and threads and try to keep pushing forward on those. But, you know, like the Texas Panorama, I, I had it out, but I just kept going, but I want to do Disney. So I did Disney. Now, what's really, really insane I started new stuff. What is wrong with me? 
And I don't mean like I started one. I started new stuff. I started this July 4th flag piece. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Um, I don't remember who showed it on eBay. It's a Plum Street Samplers freebie. That's why I'm letting you see the pattern. Somebody showed it on eBay and I was like, well, there you go. Gotta go do that. I haven't gotten very far at all. There you go. It seems amazing, right? Um, this is just a piece of scrap. It's a 28 count linen. And I'm doing it one over one. <clears throat> That's, <clears throat> that's tiny. That's very tiny. And then Michelle at Farm Girl, also a freebie from Plum Street Samplers, did Bok Bok. I don't know if you can see the pattern very well. This turkey. So, I had to go and print that one off too because it's so cute. And I started it Look, it's on this same piece of fabric. Um, but I'm doing it two over two. So, I haven't gotten very far on either one of them. But that's okay. They're going to be cute. And then, I had this book. Country Cross Stitch Designs. And... It is American Samplers. Um, I guess the book's from 1990. And I was actually getting ready to list the book for sale. And so I was flipping through to take some pictures so people could kind of see what was inside of it, too. If I was smart, I would have marked these pages, but I might do that. So anyway... There's this one, and I didn't really care so much about the sampler. That didn't call to me, but then I flipped to this picture, and I was like, well, gosh, i got to make that. So, I started it. I have a tree. That's it. Now... As you can see, the tree's right here. There's a little box next to it. Well, I did the wrong tree. I did this tree, which the trees are exactly the same. That's no big deal. But I counted way over and did this box, which is wrong. So. I've already had to tear it out. And I'll stitch in another box much closer. But So there you go. What is it? Three new starts. Yay! I must have forgotten Mania was over. Seriously, what the heck? And I have to tell you about something else I did. So, I have some purchases. I have this kit I got on eBay. Isn't that cute? And I have my um, eBay points. I was looking um, because this, I paid, I think it was $3.25 with, with shipping and everything for the kit. Um, I was just looking because that's, I signed up for um, Stitch from Stash again this time. So the first uh, go round, I ended with $14.08 in the black. Um, that's not record breaking, but I'll take it. So, but I bought this one right after the new one started. So, out of my budget, um, that's three dollars and twenty-five cents that has to come out. But anyway, I got my eBay Buck certificate, and so I was looking for things to buy because the certificate only lasts a month, and 
you know, use it or lose it. So might as well buy some cross-stitch stuff. And there was a cross-stitch magazine that was, the uh, starting bid was like 99 cents and free shipping. And I don't really know what's in it. Um, I thought one of the pictures on the cover was, you know, well, that would be kind of cute. So I uh, bid a dollar twenty six as my high bid, except for I didn't hit the decimal. I hit zero, and I hit the enter button just as I realized that it said a thousand and twenty six dollars was my freaking high bid. You can't retract a bid on eBay. I was freaking out. I looked everywhere to f try to find out how to retract a bid. Yeah, it's not in there. Um, as luck would have it, uh, the seller pulled the item because they didn't have it anymore. I don't know if they sold it somewhere else or what, but I, yeah, I was checking it like, I don't know, every hour for two days. got to pay attention. I, you cannot believe how much I was freaking out. And I had to freak out silently into myself because Dax would have been like, what the hell is wrong with you? So, sheesh. So anyway, that ended okay. And now I'm very, very, very careful. I got this off of Listia. Aren't those cute? This, and it comes with everything. The little black hoops and everything. But this is embroidery. It's not cross-stitch. It's embroidery. I don't know if I'm going to do the decorations on black. I've got plenty of white fabric around. Um, I think I've even got some with, like, gold snowflakes that I think some of that would look really cute. You know, just change the colors and stuff. But... I mean, like I said, it comes with everything. Look at those little pom-poms. Oh my God. So, I'll decide. Because I don't know that I want them as ornaments like that. Because they'd be pretty stinking cute and my not a dull bulb. bulb. <clears throat> Speaking of doing smalls for my not a dull bulb. bulb um, March through December, here in Wimberley, they do... Uh, I think it's, is it the Lions Club? Yeah, I think it's the Lions Club. They have a market days. Um, I mean, they have a big setup with little permanent buildings and stuff uh, that people own. Part of their money goes, it has to be, go back to the Lions Club if you sell at market days. And I used to go pretty often when we first moved in, but I've kind of bought most everything that I want from there. But this time we went, we went last weekend and I got, I got a Pyrex dish with the glass lid that matches some that I already have, they happen to have. And if I was smart, I would have bought all of them that she had because she had them marked pretty cheap. And I probably could have made some, some cash on eBay if I'd done it, but I didn't. But I also bought this old tool. Look at this. It's huge, so I've got to stand up to show it to you. Look at that. Isn't that freaking awesome? It was like 20 bucks, y'all. And you can see it is actually old. Um, but it's still, I mean, it's sturdy. It is in great shape. Uh, Dax was carrying it around for me, and he almost sold it for 30 bucks, but I had to yell at him. But how cute would that be full of smalls? Now, it's huge. I have to get my button gear if I ever want that to have smalls in it. But I really liked it. And it fits uh, perfectly on the Lazy Susan on my dining table. There's about this much left on each side on the Lazy Susan. Now, I said it's huge. My dining table is huge. Uh, it's a giant square table. And... Uh, the Lazy Susan on my dining table is actually uh, an old tabletop 
that's had the stuff put on it around tabletop. So anyway, um, it'll be awesome. So I got to get my button gear. Now back to Costage. I ordered this book because I've been enabled and oh, her name escapes me right now because it's very close to a friend of mine's name and that's the only name in my head right now but she just changed her channel name Ugh. it's killing me anyway I watched her videos and I got totally enabled I got this book for like a dollar twenty-five plus shipping I think with shipping and everything it was still under five dollars um, I got an Amazon gift card, so that's good. And it doesn't count towards my Stitch from Stash budget because I had a gift card. But it is, if you haven't seen the book, it it's based on the alphabet A for Angel. But it's got some really neat things in here. Um, so I haven't even had a chance to sit down and go all through it. But I got that. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's in there that I just need to make. But this seller threw in, um, that one is, it's a leisure arts book. All of these are leisure arts. This one's Holly, Holiday Wear. But it had some really cute stuff in it. Even if you didn't put those on socks, they'd make cute smalls or whatever. <clears throat> And look at this snowman. How cute is he? I mean, seriously, come on. And this one. It's a Christmas Remembered. Look, these uh, Old World Santas. Uh, I love Old World Santas. As a matter of fact, the top of our Christmas tree is Old World Santas. My kids... Not my kids, mostly I think Dax got it started. My family are always giving me a hard time about the Eskimo on the top of our tree. So, But anyway, she threw those in for free. So I got the book and two pattern books, leaflets I guess, for five bucks. I mean, that's winning. Let's see. While I was out here, kind of digging around. Um, I came across a couple of things that my daughters had made in 4-H, so they are probably, what, 9 or 10? This is just a dish towel that Addison embroidered. It's the only time she's ever done anything kind of embroidery. I, it's not pretty or even or anything like that, um, but I love it. And you put stuff away to hang on to it and then forget that you even have it. So it's kind of fun to go past. And this is Kirsten made this. Um, it's a little uh, craft apron. Um, it's got little ruffle at the bottom and the top. And look, a little pocket. But if you look, it is a pot holder and a dish towel. So that's fun. It's fun to find these things and um, yeah, what am I going to do with it now? She never used it because she made it for a 4-H competition. But So, that was fun finding those and being reminded of when they were younger. Um, also, if you've made it this far, thank you. I have a book that I want to give away. Um, Country Crossage. It's a hardcover book. I think it is from 1991. It has some different, has quite a few different things in it. Uh, and I think it's laid out. There's one. Um, Easier stuff in the front, maybe. Uh, more difficult stuff in the back. There's some 
There's another one in here. Let me see if I can find it. If you've been wanting to do a chatelaine and you're kind of scared, here's a similar kind of pattern that might be, looks a little easier to start with maybe. But anyway, I'm going to give this away. Um, if you will, if you're interested, um, in the comments below, tell me your favorite project that you've ever done. It doesn't have to be cross-stitch, just if you do something else, quilting, knitting, crochet, whatever, your favorite project that you've done. Um, it could be one you're working on right now. I'd just like to hear about it. All the same old stuff, 18 or parents' permission, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't mention that you're entering the giveaway in the comments, and I will ship it anywhere. So, uh, if you're interested, then let me know below. I think that's it. Found some stuff and made a couple of needle minders. Um, there's one. It's another one of the little wooden cutout things. And like I found these little witches' hats on my stuff. It's hard to tell. Isn't that cute though? I have to find some Halloween stuff to put that with. Okay. I think that's it. I hope y'all have a great day um, and a great week. I hope mine is better than yesterday, that we can get this floor put back in and be done with it. I think we've replaced, well, we got to go buy a new handle today because the other one is sticking um, for the toilet in the girls' bathroom. I think that made it worse. I think the handle stuck and left it open so that when it started dumping water out, it didn't quit, and I think the bathroom filled with water, and it started coming into Kirsten's room before she noticed. I don't know why they didn't notice the toilet running nonstop, but oh well. It is done, and hopefully we can get that other part. We've replaced everything else on the inside of the toilet. Hopefully we can get that fixed, and hopefully the boards are dry, and we can get the floor back down today. Um... They didn't seem to be terribly wet, so we'll see. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate the comments and the likes. I really, really do. And I'm going to take a few minutes right now and try to get to the comments that have been left because I am so far behind. But I do appreciate it, and I want you all to know that. Y'all have a great week. And we'll see you here next time. Bye.